me and Ethan bullies, which we're like, I don't. It's, yeah, it no. really is. It really is it's bullying. Any of those it's young <laughs> girls, Charlie D'Amelio's, TikTokers, all those people probably wake up in fear every day yes, of yes, Trisha yes. Paytas and Ethan <laughs> H3H3 Klein. What's up, YouTube? Well, it seems that Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas are in the drama again. They have a popular podcast for those of you who are not caught up with the drama called The Frenemies, and they kind of call attention to YouTubers and just what's going on in the community of YouTube. Well, another popular podcast decided to throw a little shade and call out Ethan Klein and Trisha Paytas. Okay, so Trisha Paytas and Ethan Klein are bullies according to this podcast because they kind of just basically call people out on their BS and that allegedly makes them bullies for just reporting the news, the stuff that's already out there and just giving their own opinions. Adam22 is defending Trisha Paytas, okay? Okay, and FaZe Banks, and then I'm gonna play you the clip, and Mike, shame Adam for making OnlyFans content with Trisha, and then like FaZe Bank later goes on to say like he really likes Jason Nash, but Mike had a lot to say, so let me go ahead and roll you the clip. Of those young <laughs> girls, Charlie D'Amelio's, TikTokers, all those people probably wake up in fear every yes, day of yes, Trisha yes. Paytas and Ethan <laughs> H3H3 Klein. Do you know what I'm saying? Like imagine like knowing that these, these people are over their shoulders gunning, dude, like just waiting for them to watch it every step they take right that's got to be a horrible feeling for some of these kids dude mm -hmm. it's yeah, it no. really is it really is it's bullying awesome. from the people who have every reason to hate bullies because they're the people that were bullied people were they're bullied. the people that were bullied like trisha is was bullied h3 you, you're gonna try to tell me right now h3 was the cool kid at his high school <laughs> Is that know. does what do you think, Laura? With weather, you think he was <laughs> you think he was cleaning up out in there in fucking Ohio University? I don't think so, right? Like these are the people that should be standing up and being like, "Yo, we're not gonna do that. Right. We're not gonna we're not gonna rally an no, army they, they themselves. of people no, against no, 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 others." But it's because they've tricked themselves to believe that they're the do-gooders, they're the good guys, and they're the ones who like are protecting everybody else. It's it's insane. It's insane. I love, I, like, I have a lot of love to Trisha. I really do think she's a good person. I don't know, Ethan, but. You, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked her. She ate pizza, your dick. I need to, like, put, a, I need to put something on the wall that acknowledges that I did that. Like, a, just a picture, really, would be. I watched it. I'm not going to lie. I had to see it with my own two eyes. How, how was I it? I had to. I watched it for th two seconds. It lasted Solid about two seconds, to, too. Yeah. I just had to get I, I think to, that was my. I had, it's one of those things. I that was my girl's biggest it. day on OnlyFans. Really? I'm sure it was. Yeah. Does she clean sure up in the yeah. adult space? Of course mm. she does. She must. So does Trisha. No, that's no, not your girl. But, I was asking. Oh, about Trisha? Trisha. I'm pretty sure Trisha's gigantic on there as well. Yeah. She, Although she is in a relationship now. I wonder how that has changed shit. She still fires shots at that Jason Nash guy all the time. Really? I just like, is like, that what I is that what I stand for for the rest of my life? People, like night like 2047. This, Lana's like, fuck. <laughs> Mike in his dumb wheelchair. He's I like Jason now. Nash a lot. Yeah, me to too. Be honest. He I never like did anything wrong. I'm not. I don't know the backstory. He's I never done anything wrong. Any to of me. his opinions or anything like that. I'm talking about. I don't really watch a ton of their videos, but that group of people like seems to be very like. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm actually I not gonna touch that. My guys. My guys. So let me know what you think about that. I honestly don't really like the vibe of that podcast. I really enjoy Face Banks. I really do like Adam Twenty Two. But the Mike guy I just kind of felt like it was unnecessary and called for. But Trisha Paytas got wind of him talking down on her name, so she went on Instagram stories and made a rant. And here's what she had to say. Guys, so I wasn't really gonna address this because, like, I really don't know much about the two people involved like i know a little bit about mike because i watch impulsive but i literally didn't know the other one like i've heard of him but i have no idea what he does or anything about him and i just was like oh these are these just old creepy guys starting like a pipe house thing and <laughs> just something i just didn't want anything to do with obviously i knew mike about from lana and just all the ways anyways so anyways a lot of people were tweeting me a clip where um they basically called me and Ethan bullies, which we're like, I don't, what? <laughs> we talk about, you know, discrimination, um, like race discrimination on TikTok and just trying to bring light to issues, stop Asian hate. I mean, we're just trying to like bring awareness um, to issues and, you know, really just talk about our opinions, hold people accountable. Same way that like people have held me accountable and I like have, have appreciated it, but we don't attack anyone's like looks or we definitely don't harass them Chrissy Teigen style according you know so it's like it's it's well, and again it's fine if someone has an opinion but 
I took a little issue to the fact that they called us bullies, but in the same breath made fun of Adam for having sex with me on a sex tape and like laughing about it. Like just how old are you? Meanwhile, Mike dated Lana Rhodes, which is a porn star. No one gives him shit about it because why would you? Sex work is work and it's hard work. But that just shows he doesn't respect sex workers, including dating one. Like, I know he didn't respect her because up until, like, the breakup, he's recording her. He cheated on her. He cheated on her and then called the uh, the girl he cheated on her with a gremlin. As if... Ugh. And in that same breath, the guy next to him, Faze something, um... I guess Mike asks Adam if I'm big on OnlyFans and the guy goes, she's big in more ways than one. Just like, I guess fat shaming. But again, it's like, how are you going to call us bullies when they say breath? So it makes me believe that they just want to be relevant because Mike's no longer impulsive and the other guy just, I've literally never heard of. Um, yeah, but I, I thought I, I wanted to like flex real quick. <laughs> So yeah, I um I have an OnlyFans and it's still really popping. Let me show you. I never promote my OnlyFans anymore. Like you really can't find it anywhere. It's onlychurch.com. If you if you do want to check it out, I do upload content like solo content by myself, and I do sell old content on there, and it still makes me like six figures a month. So here's the flip. this is my paid one at Trishy Land. There's forty thousand fans on there. So there's that. Still in the point zero one percent of all creators on there, and I never even have to promote it. And um, yeah, that's my flex. That, um, but yeah, like thanks for the plug. Go buy the old videos. I really don't do anything, and I still make six figures a month on there. So go off, I guess. I said I'm open to criticism. I'm open to people not liking me. In fact, I actually always kind of like like liked Mike. I thought it was cool that he like has. He was like really a big addict and like talked about sobriety. And I always thought he was kind of cool, but really he's just kind of douchey. And on the podcast, he's like, oh, do I have to worry about Lana talking about me in like still 10 years after we broke up? And no, Mike, you don't have to worry about anyone talking about you in 10 years because you're barely hanging on to relevancy now. That's why you have to go and do the low blows and attack sex workers and the other guy attacking my weed. And um, yeah to them is you guys are both almost 40 and there's nothing wrong with that but like don't start a hype house or clout house or collective house or whatever kind of house you're doing it comes across one really creepy two really manipulative and you're living there it's really disgusting and my predictions are pretty spot on but if you guys do do a content house and you're living there um it's gonna be a lot of trouble <laughs> like it doesn't take a psychic to know that but like yeah Y'all had issues before with underage girls, cheating, all that stuff like that, being exposed, like just illegal activity, just probably watch it, like, it like doesn't upset me, it gave me an opportunity to promote my OnlyFans, which I literally don't do anywhere, and I haven't in months, but I still update daily, so onlytrish.com, and yeah, that's like my piece on it, like there's a attack me for and there's a lot to attack us for on front of me is like we definitely definitely hate ourselves enough on there <laughs> we are definitely self-deprecating and um believe every word of it and also i just feel like we're just shedding light on things we also raise awareness for mental health issues take away mental health stigma and um give platforms and voices to people who otherwise may not have it plus we set up a rain account and um yeah donated and got other people to donate as a team to victims of unfortunately it's a recurring topic on youtube and we only go after tiktokers because all the tiktokers are let me know your thoughts about all that drama in the comments down below i don't personally think that trisha paytas and ace3a3 ethan klein i don't think they have a bullying bone or i think they honestly just call people out and they have feelings of um, just, you know, you know what? I don't think that person's giving me a good vibe. That really doesn't make them a bully. But let me know what you guys think about all that in the comments down below. If you like the video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, leave a comment, and all that drama in the comments down below. You can definitely check me out 
on Instagram and also YouTube and TikTok and everything out there. You get out there and find me, guys, if you want to. I appreciate you and thank you guys for watching my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.